Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Read with Accent Ahmed. This is Coach Ahmed, and I welcome you all to another session. Today's topic is on Russia. Russia, the largest country in the world, occupies one-tenth of all the land on Earth. It spans 11 time zones across two continents, Europe and Asia, and has coasts on three oceans, the Atlantic, Pacific, and the Arctic. The Russian landscape varies from desert to frozen coastline, tall mountains to giant marshes. Much of Russia is made up of rolling, treeless plains called steppes. Siberia, which occupies three quarters of Russia, is dominated by sprawling pine forests called Tagas. Russia has about 100,000 rivers, including some of the longest and most powerful in the world. It also has many lakes, including Europe's two largest, Ladoga and Oniga. Lake Baikal in Siberia contains more water than any other lake on Earth. There are about 120 ethnic groups in Russia who speak more than 100 languages. Roughly 80% of the Russians trace their ancestry to the Slavs who settled in the country 1,500 years ago. Other major groups include Tatars who came with the Mongol invaders and Ukrainians. Russia is known all over the world for its thinkers and artists, including writers like Leo Tolstoy and Fyodor Dostoevsky, composers such as Peitoro Ilyich Tchaikovsky, and ballet dancer including Rudolf Nureyev. As big as Russia is, it is no surprise that it is home to a large number of ecosystems and species. Its forests, steeps, and tundras provide habitat for many rare animals, including Asiatic black bears, snow leopards, polar bears, and small rabbit-like mammals called pikas. Russia's first national park were set up in the 19th century, but decades of unregulated pollution have taken a toll on many of the country's wild places. Currently, about 1% of Russia's land area is protected in preserves known as Zipovindikniks. Russia's most famous animal species is the Siberian tiger, the largest cat in the world. Indigenous to the forest of eastern Russia, these endangered giants can be 10 feet 3 meters long, not including their tail, and weigh up to 600 pounds, 300 kilograms. Russia's history as a democracy is short. The country's first election in 1917 was quickly reversed by the Bolsheviks, and it wasn't until the 1991 election of Boris Yeltsin that democracy took hold. Russia is a federation of 86 republics, provinces, territories, and districts, all controlled by the government in Moscow. The head of the state is the president elected by the people. The economy is based on a vast supply of natural resources, including oil, coal, iron, ore, gold, and aluminum. The earliest human settlements in Russia arrived around AD 500 as Scandinavians, what is now Norway, Denmark, and Sweden, moved south to areas around the upper Volga River. These settlers mixed with Slavs from the west and built a fortress that would eventually become the Ukrainian city of Kiev. Kiev evolved into an empire that ruled most of the European Russia for 200 years, then broke up into Ukraine, Belarus, and Muscovy. Muscovy's capital, Moscow, remained a small trading post until the 13th century, when Mongol invader from the Central Asia drove people to settle in Moscow. In the 1550s, Muscovite ruler Ivan became Russia's first Tsar or Emperor after drying the Mongol Mongols out of Kiev and unifying the region. In 1682, ten-year-old Peter the Great and his older brother Ivan both became Tsar through Peter's aunt and Ivan's mother. Sophia was in charge. Soon after Sophia was overthrown and Peter was considered by most of the 
real czar, though he allowed his brother to keep his official position. For 42 years, Peter worked to make Russia more modern and more European. In 1762, Peter took up a trip to Germany, and his wife, Catherine, named herself the sole ruler of Russia. Just six months later, the Tsar died perhaps on his wife's orders. Now known as Catherine the Great, the Empress continued to modernize Russia, supported arts and culture, and expanded its territory, claiming Ukraine, Crimea, Poland, and other places. She ruled for 34 years. In 1917, Russia, unhappy with their leadership, overthrew Tsar Nicholas II and formed an elected government. Just a few months later, though a communist group called the Bolsheviks seized power, their leader, Vladimir Lenin, Lenin created the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, USSR, or the Soviet Union, uniting Russia and 11 other countries. The Soviet Union fought on side of the United States in World War II, but relations between the two powers and their allies became strained soon after the war ended in 1945. The United States and many of its allies were worried about the spread of communism, the type of government the Soviet Union was. In a communist society, all property is public and people share wealth that they create. These concerns led to the Cold War, a long period of tension between the Soviet Union and the United States. That ended in 1991 when the Soviet Union broke up after many of its republics, such as Ukraine, Lithuania, and Estonia, decided they didn't want to be part of the communist country anymore. After the Soviet Union dissolved in 1991, under the moderate Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev, the former republics became 15 independent states or nations. The largest and most powerful of these is Russia. Others include Ukraine, Lithuania, and Belarus. During this time, Boris Yeltsin became president and Russia went through many changes. Instead of the government being controlled by the Communist Party, people were elected to serve in a representative democracy with many political parties. Private businesses were not now allowed to function instead of the government controlling most everything. Citizens had also had new political and cultural freedoms to express themselves without fear of breaking the law. Yeltsin was re-elected in 1996, but his bad health prevented him from completing his term. He resigned a few years later and named his prime minister, Vladimir Putin, to replace him as an acting president. In 2000, Putin was formally elected by the citizens of Russia. In the first years, of his presidency, Putin continued many of Yeltsin's reform and supported the United States in War on Terror after the attacks on September 11, 2001. But he got rid of some of the cultural freedom and took control of the national television networks. This allowed his government to influence news reports. Putin was elected a second term in 2004. But as in the United States, he couldn't serve more than two consecutive four-year terms. So in 1998, he appointed an aide, Dmitry Medvedev, to take his place as prime minister. Many believe that Putin still ruled Russia from behind the scenes during the, this time. In 2012, Putin ran again for president and won, but he wasn't as popular among the people and citizens protested against unfair elections. His government arrested many political opponents and called the protesters traitors to Russia who wanted to be more like the West, especially the United States. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all for coming. Have a great day, everyone.